Hello everyone and welcome back to the Underworld. Now the Underworld got voted again, it's been a week since the launch and I thought it'd be quite cool to have a tour and see what the players have been up to. This Underworld we tried to stick to the roots of our previous Underworld server and we built this massive cave system with massive planets all over the place, lots of things to explore, cool creatures and lots lots more. So let's um, jump around and check out what players have been up to. So the first base we're going to is is the dash base hideout. I'm going to try to cover as many bases as possible, but as usual, it's not going to be possible to cover them all. So as we come into the voxel terrain, you can see that the dash crew have got themselves a basic sort of cave-like structure under here. It's hidden away deep within the rocks and out of sight of other bases. And as you can see, they have built themselves a selection of missiles that were quite effective back in the Severus system when using them. And you can see they've got themselves a little bit of a pokey stick and then they've got some explosives in side. If we continue looking around, you'll also notice that there's a selection of these small fighters being so stored up there. So what's this over here? So this looks like some artwork display. Ooh, how, how nice. They've got some little dots and little faces. You can say work safety. Well, underwear is safety. <laughs> okay, very interested indeed. Let's keep working through. So you can see they've got these other tunnels that they dug out. They've got some transport mining rovers down there. A very cool little base, very functional and very well hidden within the underworld itself. I'm sure the Dash faction will be responsible for some kanji in the future. There's the exit tunnel up at the top. It just takes you up here and then you're out. You can see that they've got this beam in because on the Underworld server we've changed the, the voxel cleanup so that if you don't have a supported shaft it'll fill itself in so in basically you can have a, a mini sort of cave in and you'll be stuck underground. So let's continue on. We've had a look at Dash, let's take a look at some of the no zone uh, objects or, or should actually in fact let's go and have a look at the ONI base. We'll have a flick through as we go. So as we go inside here, the ONI base doesn't really seem to have too much going for it at the minute. Maybe this has just established itself. Looks like they've got a few miners here parked up. The voxels are still loading in. Nothing too exciting there. They've got this large drilling platform about to take shape. So they're still in the beginning stages. And it is the second week, so some factions may have joined late and you kind of expect that. So let's head over to TVK, see what they're up to. Oh, I can hear a lot of ships loading in in this area. So it looks like they've got some large sort of bunker and they've got these fan-like structures out here on the side. We'll soon see when the rest of the voxels load in. Since this is quite a voxel heavy map, um, the bases do look a lot different when they load in. Here we go. We've got all the voxels are loaded here. You can see that we've got this black ship and it's in the, a narrow sort of cave entrance. Oh, very cool indeed. I like this. That's very hidden. You can see the outer cave just out there. So cool. I love, I love how immersive the underworld is. You can see they've stacked the ships in here. They've got a few decoy blocks on some of their designs. And we haven't had turrets on this uh, version of the underworld. So the ships only have these small turret available to them. And then they have to either build their own weapons or put pick on the um, good old Gatling guns and missile launchers. So they've got this cool little structure up here. Let's have a quick dip in here. Command center control room. Their various beds with their names on top of them. Very cool indeed. Let's have a little bit of a look over here. Another cryopod and a hangout area. Very good. Let's have a continuation. See what's next. So we've had a look at Dash. We've had a look at TVK. We're going to have a look at some of the other locations. So there's a lot of Dash. Let's have a look at ADI's home base. So this one is going to be a big one. ADI pop up on every, pretty much every server. And originally on the Underworld, they had themselves a giant submarine. So the cave is loading in around us. Just give it a minute to load. And you can see they've got some fighters. They're making use of some of the newer blocks. They've got some of the things going on in there. They've got each one of these individual hangar bays that are pretty damn cool. And this facility continues going through here. This looks like a printing station. We've got a little bit of an airlock going on over this side. What's in this production room? Oh, it looks beautifully laid out. I like these little production lights that they've stuck in there. They've also got a wine cellar wine cellar lights <laughs> with the hydrogen in. Hydrogen is an important part of traveling around the underworld. It allows you to get in some of the sections that the other thrusters just simply don't work in. And then we've got access. Is this directly out of the underworld? We've got some big ships from ADI here. They found themselves another cool little cave structure where everything interlocks in between the two planets. 
Very cool. It looks like they've still got a lot to be working on. Let's jump back on our list. Let's continue going down. Pass dash, pass ADI, and let's have a look what we've got next. So we do have ASR. They look like they're still in the early stages, so we won't take a look at them. We've got the ASR bunker that's still being developed. We've got BHA. They've got a selection of fighters around this area. Let's let's go over there and have a look at BHA. So BHA have built this interesting looking structure. I believe voxels are still loading in here. So it might take a second and then we'll understand exactly what's going on. So we've got a larger ship from BHA. Look at that. That looks awesome. That's going to be so cool fighting in the underworld. It looks like they've captured maybe one of the smaller vehicles or this is something that they're building, a little fighter. And they've got these large pods that have this radioactive type symbol in blue on the side of them. Very cool. And what's that weldy boy? So I guess that's a welder ship of some kind to help weld up all the things in their fleet. Very cool indeed. And they've also got the crab. Now, this crab was captured. We have a lot of weird creatures on the underworld. And you can see what they've done to it is added a top hat, a cigar, and a monocle and a moustache. So <laughs> very cool indeed. Let's have a quick dip inside their production area. I like how they've put it on like stilts. A lot of players really like this sort of underwater or oil rig theme. What is going on in here? Oh, this is a printer room, of course with a built-in disco floor, you know, so you can have a little party as you weld things off. They've got left and right, they've got one with an L, one, I don't know how this system works. Looks like maybe another printer or some sort of control room for controlling things in here. Very cool indeed. We've got Apathy's Golden Throne there as well. <laughs> Let's continue on. So as we're jumping through the grids, we're going to pass the factions that we've actually had a look at before. Let's have a quick look at um, DAV, see if there's anything going on there. They still look like they're in the early stages of construction, so we'll leave them to it. We've got the EMD faction. A lot of these people are really enjoying these new blocks that we've got. It looks really crazy and confusing from a distance. So this is the EMD base. So it's a small sort of platform. I'm sure the voxels will load in in just a second. And we'll soon understand exactly what's going on here. So you've got the EMD ship on the top. We've got a bunker of some kind underneath. There we go. Loaded in very nicely. It's a small base. Probably maybe a solo or a, a one or two man faction. We can have a look inside here. Very brightly coloured. Another person who likes his RGB type keyboard setups, I'm guessing. We've got a miner out there. And they're taking shape. So let's continue working our way through the list. So as we go down here, we've also got EOD Alpha Base. It looks like quite a small structure, but in the background... There's a really big ship, so they're producing there. Looks like they've either captured or this has been in some recent sort of battle. Yeah, it looks like it's been in some sort of recent battle. It's got some damage to it. I'm guessing the, instead of building an actual base, these guys decided to build a production type vessel that they could move around the server on. Very, very cool idea. Look at this double cockpit glass. This thing. Oh, look at the firepower of missiles on the front of that. This is this is a serious contender. Of course, I'm a little bit worried about the drill ship dangling off the bottom but i guess they've got to feed this thing some way it's a cool idea we see a lot of bases on underworld but this is kind of a base ship that's taking shape here it looks really damn cool lots of decoys not too much firepower it's got a few interior turrets it's gonna have to rely on fighters or getting something um you know a big volley off with them front sort of launches on there let's have a quick look sib sibirus it's got on the side they're very very cool indeed let's continue on so as we continue scrolling through this list we have gone through that. We've had a look through EOD stuff. Let's have a quick look over at IMS. We'll come back to HOR and have a look what they're up to. So IMS seem to be in a very dark area, a dark cave. They've got an entrance over there. The voxels are still loading in. They've got this massive connection platform for maybe refueling hydrogen. We've got this cool looking sort of disco type ship using the neutron like armor. We've got a few of these little connection type decoy pads around the base, maybe to protect themselves from incoming attack. And over here, we've got this entrance bay to what looks like their underground base. I can see the voxels are starting to pop in around us. There we go. So it's like a little shaft entrance. Very cool indeed. Yeah, they've got a straight shaft down. They've got some access hangers on either side. Let's check these out. So yeah, a little storage bay, perhaps a fighter. And they've got a larger ship in here that I'm guessing they're printing on a rotary printer. Very, very cool indeed. I like this system. I'm just a bit worried that they might struggle to actually get it out the door. Maybe the door comes apart in a different way, though. Very cool from IMS. It looks like they've made a nice little start to things. Of course, they've got a few of these other cool little ships. They've actually put um, a little turret located in the center there, and they've put these little lights around the edge just to create a bit of detailing. But you can see the colors of them um, little 
luminous grids just really popping from the background as you float around. Let's keep going. Let's see what next there is to look at. IMS, we have seen you. IPA, let's see what's going on at the IPA facility. So IPA have got themselves another nice large hangar taking shape here. Let's just exit that hangar. There is a lot going on at the IPA base by the look of it. We'll let voxels load in a minute and then we should be able to see around. So they've built themselves deep within a cave system. Um, and it looks like they've gone with an overly complicated printer system. There is no gravity on the underworld, so you really don't need to put things on rails like this. But, you, but at the same time, you know, it's up to the player's choice. They can do whatever they want. So you can see the welding this particular system up here and these tracks retract back with the design um, supposedly I guess keeping it stable and on one plane they've got some ships stored away in the sides here very cool indeed this looks like it's got some sort of welder based maybe missile or alternatively it's a turret that needs to be repaired some cool ships around here lots of stored ships from IPA you see a lot of factions doing this storing a lot of ships um, there is events to take them out onto, but it just seems there's a lot, a lot of player storage going on. People need to start utilising the ships instead of just hoarding a load of them like this inside. Very cool indeed. Let's have a quick look over here. We've got another welder ship over here, and we've got a production system over here. We've even got these small mini sort of maybe cargo transporter ships. We've got definitely one over there that transports cargo to the larger vessels. Cool indeed. Let's keep going. So as we go back onto our menu, we are... Going past IPA, we're having a look at Lex. Let's have a look at Lex's alpha base. So that's a small starter grid. We'll we'll leave them to it. We'll keep on going. They've got a few small fighters and things on the grid. Very cool indeed. Definitely either a solo or maybe a duo at the max. MDK, what are they up to? Let's have a little zoom in on their little outpost down here. So they've got themselves some ships taking form there. They've got a 3D printer in that section. And over here in the darkness, they've got themselves a landing pad. It looks like it's taking some damage, or maybe they've not yet completed it. Oh no, it's actually not taking any damage, it's just stored here. So they've got a little bunker, a welding ship, and some of these interesting circles that disconnect. I guess these are some sort of defensive platforms that they can deploy in a hurry if they need to. And they've got the base under here as well. Very, very cool indeed. Much smaller settlement. Let's keep going. So past Lex, past MDK, MBS. Let's have a look at the MBS base. So it really looks like this is a big chunk of a base. There's not too many ships around here. There's a lot of lighting going on. You can see all the spotlights in the lower section there. Not too many ships, and it looks like they've got something taking shape up here. I'm, I'm just trying to get the the scale of it. It's, it's hard in the underworld. It's very disorientating. You, if you've played on it, you'll notice it, because there isn't really an up or down, so I could come in from various different angles so it looks like they've got themselves a little door they've built into this canyon here where they can access into their base and the base is nicely stored up there very cool let's keep going so past mdk we have mbs we've had a quick look at one of the mbs bases i believe already let me have a quick look let's have a look at the defense burrito oh so they're like a, a round type ship very cool indeed Let's have a look at the base over there. We've seen that one. So we just need to keep scrolling through and see if we've missed anything else. Now, the no, no zone are usually things that people don't want uh, a bubble around, so don't panic about that. We've got a royal palace taking place. We've got another main base being grown over there. Let's keep jumping through. I'm looking for ones that are named bases or other alternative things, because a lot of these we would have seen. We've got an alpha base taking shape. We'll have a quick look at um, UAC, see what they've been doing. So a lot of factions either decide that they want to get ships up quite quickly, and they invest a lot of time in ships, or they'll spend time building a base like this one. So you can see this has got a really cool interior layout. I'm sure when the rocks load in that all these areas will be filled with rocks. And you can see they've got a production stack to take shape. They've got these little drone type ships where they can just have six gatling guns higher amount of firepower here you go you can see the cave now in full effect oh, that look awesome really nice dig out of a base big hydrogen storage there looks like they're having some issues with the storage flashing there maybe a power consumption issue yeah maybe these guys haven't stocked the reactor correctly yeah and the batteries are fully drained this base might actually get killed by a trash cleanup if they're not careful and don't come and refill it and get it back online let's keep going so we're nearly through as many bases as we've had a look at we're going to have a look at UF, um, UFV. They are tiny, just literally starting out by the look of it. We've got ourselves a few ships down here that people haven't named. We've got the Hermit, a miner. Let's have a quick jump through some of the other grids, see if we've missed anything else. 
We've got the, the mare base. <laughs> that looks like someone's just starting out there as well. We've got the, my other ship. That's just a drill. So you can see there's a lot of different things. And from an admin perspective as well, um, it is quite hard to check on all these grids, especially people that don't name them. We have, we have a rule to name grids, but sometimes it is a little bit hard or people do forget. We've got the SWI research outpost. Let's have a look. I always miss a really cool base or base ship. WMC. Let's have a look at what's going on here. So we've got like a, a satellite type ship here with a landing platform on. Looks like they've decided just to build theirs out on the bottom of the cave there. Still taking shape. It looks like they are massing up their hydrogen though. So they can get some nice hydrogen ships out there into the cave network. Anyway, that was just a quick, well I won't say a quick tour, but a quick look at the underworld. If you're interested in joining, jump on our Discord, you can find all the information you need there, and I will see you next time. Best of luck, factions, in the future events over the next few weeks on the underworld, and hopefully you succeed and you escape the underworld, or alternatively, you're stuck here forever. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.